Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on logarithms where we'll be taking you on logarithm of numbers less than 1. In this video, we'll be looking at powers and roots. So we take our first problem. Problem 1. Evaluate 0 0.04759 raised to the power of 3. So in our solution, we'll be presenting our work in a table. So we have the table. This column is for the numbers, while this is for the logarithm of the numbers. So we place our number under the number column. We have 0 0.04759 to the power of 3. First, we find the logarithm of 0 0.04. 759. Before that, we find the integer part of the logarithm. So it is going to be 1, 2, bar 2. Because if this number is expressed in standard form, the power of 10 is going to be negative 2. Remember in our previous video, we told you it is going to be written as bar 2. Then we we'll place our point. We go to the logarithm table, look for 47 under 5, differences of 9, and that will give us 6775. So with this power 3, we are going to multiply our result by 3. So we multiply the logarithm by 3. 3 times 5 gives 15. We write 5 carry 1. 3 times 7 gives 21. 21 plus 1 gives 22. We write 2 and carry 2. 3 times 7 again gives 21. 21 plus 2 gives 23. We write 3 and carry 2. 3 times 6 gives 18. 18 plus 2 gives 20. We write 0 and carry 2. We place our point here. 3 times bar 2 is the same thing as 3 times negative 2. And that gives negative 6. So that's going to be negative 6 plus the 2 we carried gives negative 4. And that will be written as bar 4. So what we do now is we now find the anti-logarithm of bar 4.0325. To do that, we keep the integer part and look for 0, 3, under 2, differences of 5 on the anti-logarithm table. And that gives 1077. Then the method is to place our point immediately after the first digit, multiply it by 10, raised to this power of the integer part. And it is going to be written as negative 4. This is the standard form of the solution of this problem. So in ordinary form, we have it as 0 0.0001077. So that is all. If you have not watched our videos on standard form and ordinary form, please do check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel. It is placed there. So that is the end of solution to problem one. We then go to problem two. For problem two, we have to evaluate fourth root of 0 0.006543. See presenting our solution in a tabular form. We have the number column and the logarithm column. So we place this our number on the number column. We transform this into index. So we have 0 0.006543 is going to be to the power of 1 over 4. So we place it here as 0 0.006543 raised to the power 1 over 4. Then we find the logarithm of this number. So the integer part again is going to be bar 3. So if you count 1, 2, 3 until you get to the non-zero digit, then we have 1, 2, 3. So it's going to be bar 3. We place our point. 
we look for 65 under 4 differences of 3 in the logarithm table and that gives 8158. Then this fractional index is just 1 over 4. In that case, we are going to divide the logarithm of the number by 4. Has it been it is 3 over 4? We divide by 4 and then multiply by the numerator. Since the numerator here is 1, there will be no need multiplying by 1. So we just divide by 4. So dividing by 4 here, if you still remember our first video on logarithm of numbers less than 1, we have treated something like this. Check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to watch the video to get the better understanding of how to divide this. So we said the integer part here is not divisible by 4. So we look for a number which is divisible by 4, the smallest number divisible by 4 in this case, and that's going to give us 4. We place it under the bar. So we have it as bar 4. So since we have it as bar 4, but we have bar 3 here, to get bar 3 from bar 4, we add 1 to bar 4. If we add 1 to bar 4, it gives bar 3. This is going to be used to replace the bar 3. Then we now bring in our point 8158. Then we divide each component by 4. So we carry out the division and add. So bar 4 divided by 4 now will give us bar 1 without a remainder. Then plus 1.8158 divided by 4. We round it up to 4 decimal places and add it to this one. It gives 0 0.4540. Then this is what we are going to look for the antilog. So we keep this bar 1. From the antilog reading table, we check 45 under 4. There's no difference since the fourth digit is zero and that gives 2844 again we place our point immediately after the first digit multiply by 10 then raise to this power of bar one which is going to be written as negative one this is the standard form of the solution and the ordinary form is 0 0.2844 and that is the end of solution to problem two. We then go to problem three. For problem three, evaluate cube root of 0 0.926 to the power of five. Um, writing this in index form, um, the power will still remain. And this one is one over three. So in our solution, we have the number to be placed under the number column to be 0 0.926 raised to the power 5 over 3. Since 5 times 1 over 3 is 5 over 3, we have it written in index form. So the integer part of the logarithm of this number now is bar 1. We place our point 92 under 6. No difference from the logarithm table. We have it as 9666. Um, now the fractional index is 5 over 3, which is as good as multiply by 5 and divide by 3, or you divide by 3, then multiply by 5. So we follow the rule of board mass. We divide by 3 first. So we divide this by 3. And since by 1 is not exactly divisible by 3, so we are going to have it as bar 3. Okay, so we have it as bar 3 because bar 3 is exactly divisible by 3. What do we then add to bar 3 to give us bar 1? That's going to be 2. So we add 2 to bar 3. It gives bar 1. Then bring in the other numbers. That's going to be point. 9666 six, six. dividing each component by 3 so we divide by 3 
divided by 3. Battery divided by 3 gives bar 1. So we have bar 1.9889. If you divide 2.9666 by 3 to 4 decimal places, add it to bar 1. You have it as bar 1.9889. So we go ahead now to multiply by the numerator of the fractional index, which is 5. So we multiply by 5. 5 times 9 gives 45. You write 5 carry 4. 5 times 8 gives 40 plus 4, 44. We write 4 carry 4. 5 times 8 gives 40 again plus 4. That's 44. We write 4 and carry 4. 5 times 9 give 45 plus 4, 49. We write 9 and carry 4. Place our point here. 5 times bar 1 gives bar 5. Bar 5 plus the 4 we are carrying, that gives bar 1. So we have our answer here as bar 1. So after dividing the logarithm of 0 0.926 by 3 and then multiply the quotient, by 5, we are left with by 1.9445. This is where we are going to look for its anti log reading. So we keep the integer part. We check 94 under 4 differences of 5 from the anti log reading table. We have it as 8800. We then place our point immediately after the first non zero digit, multiply by 10. Then raised to this power of this bar 1, which is going to be written as negative 1, which gives the standard form or scientific notation of the evaluation of this problem. And in ordinary form, we have it as 0 0.88. And that's the end of solution to problem 3. This is the highest we can take in this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and share this video. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on logarithms of number less than one and more. Until we come your way again, goodbye.